I had the thought this week about the fragmentation of the productivity space. I've got multiple to-do list apps, multiple notes apps, multiple places for cloud storage, and almost none of these things talk to each other at the moment. There is no one killer app that can do it all. So I have my second brain spread out across many different apps. And I use as many apps as I have to. It's kind of a find the right tool for the job instead of compromising with one tool that does a lot of things well, but a lot of things poorly or is missing features that I wanna use on a day-to-day basis. So I started drawing this out and trying to figure out what do I need to change in my system Setting up the second brain is already a step change down to take the load off of my regular brain and get things into different applications and places where they will be stored and are searchable and I can find them. So what's that next step change? Now that I have this system set up and I have a bunch of tools, my brain still has to think about where the information is stored. An example that happened the other day was my wife came to me and said, hey, I have an eye appointment next week. Do we have a new vision insurance card? I have no idea where the vision insurance card is. I thought I remembered it being in Google Drive. So I hop in Google Drive, searching by the insurance name, searching by vision, nowhere to be found. Okay, I go to iCloud Drive. Maybe I ported some of this stuff over to iCloud Drive when I dropped my Google Drive storage down and got iCloud two terabytes. Nothing's coming up, okay? Maybe there's something in my email. I go into Gmail and I'm searching again. I finally see an email that says, your account has been confirmed. Okay, great, I know I have an account with our insurance company now. So that single email then triggered me to go to the insurance company website Uh, Luckily, I had my login saved in one password and was able to log in and get a copy of the insurance cards. You can see in that scenario, I had to go to three different places and the fourth being the one that actually solved my problem. And while I have a pretty organized system, there are still a lot of places to think about where the information could be stored. So what do I actually use all these productivity tools for? So for tasks, I have Todoist, and I use reminders. They have projects, recurring tasks, the inboxes are kind of brain dumps. Reminders are typically, if I'm in the car, I can have Siri trigger and um, add a reminder for me. Todoist is honestly kind of a pain to manage. It has a lot of projects in it. I typically only look at the first maybe two or three projects and the rest of the things kind of get ignored. For notes, I have Apple Notes and Obsidian. There's projects in both of them. I keep writings for my blog and um, scripts and ideas for these videos. Apple Notes has a journal, but I also use tools like Day One and Stoic. Calendar is probably the most simple. I have uh, Fantastical, which is the place to go for anything calendar related for me. It syncs up with my uh, iCloud calendars and my Google calendar. And then Highlights from Readwise sync with Obsidian, and I use those a lot of times for writing blogs about the books that I've read recently. And then storage is the same. I have iCloud set up in a para method. That's where my Obsidian second brain is stored. Google is set up in a para method. Notes is set up in a para method, and I have a uh, network attached storage drive that backs up my video projects and my second brain for Obsidian. And this is just a high level. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different places that I could go to look for information when I'm starting a new project. There's even multiple places that I keep projects. So whatever tool can come along and scrape all of these different other tools from a productivity standpoint, combine things, start to make connections, right? Like Obsidian has connections. That's its thing. It has links, it has the graph view, but it's still a human at the end of the day making those connections. And it's easy to miss connections. It's easy to have orphan documents in there as well that don't have anything in them. So whatever AI tool can come out and kind of solve this problem, right? Connect Readwise and Apple Notes and Obsidian and your task managers and your calendars into one tool, right? That tool really doesn't have to do anything else other than scrape all the information and package it together in something that's uh, 
you know, under, understandable. And maybe it can draw some connections and conclusions from, from your data as well. The last example I'll leave you with is Readwise. So I've really enjoyed reading books on my Kindle recently. And my Kindle syncs with Readwise. And then Readwise syncs with Obsidian. And I can use those to do blogs, you know, quotes for social, and just general knowledge to remember what I read. And this is digital to digital to digital to digital to digital to digital. Now, what happens if I want to read a physical book? Then this whole thing breaks down. If I have a physical book, I keep the notes and highlights in Apple Notes because it's easy to scan pages in and um, open up those scanned pages, highlight them, and save the whole thing as a PDF. And all those scanned files are searchable in Apple Notes as well. So same thing, right? I can use this for blogs, for quotes, general knowledge. Now, there's just a simple example, right? I read a book digitally. I kept the highlights in a digital place, Obsidian. If I read it in a physical space, I'm much less likely to remember what I read because Readwise isn't feeding me those highlights every day for me to review. And they they exist, but I've sort of trained myself to look for book highlights in Obsidian. And I've got to go then put that load on my first brain to remember, did I read this book digitally? Do I have it physically? Where did I store the highlights? Now, it's not an end of the world right decision here of... I go search Apple Notes and I go search Obsidian, but it is friction and it is fragmentation within my system that makes things just a little bit more difficult to figure out. So I like drawing these things out. Making the connections on a piece of paper is how I kind of realize how difficult a lot of this stuff is to either solve or not solve or come up with a new solution. What am I actually using these things for? Give myself a rough outline of Uh, you know, corralling the information into where I want it to be stored. At this point, I'm definitely going to just keep using more tools. I haven't found anything out there yet that can solve all of the problems and be useful in all of the situations that I want it to be useful for. So it's better for me to just use each app to its benefit and draw the connections on a piece of paper. Let me know what your system looks like. If you have some fragmentation or if you've figured out a solution that works for you that's seamless and minimize the amount of apps that you're using. Thanks for watching. Until next time. See ya.